Hey guys, welcome back to the food forest. Uh, today I wanted to make a video about how many different crops I can find and show you in uh, a space of five, uh, around five by five uh, meters. So it's 25 square meters and I wanted to do that because right now we are entering like a new stage of succession. In the beginning we have lots of light because the trees and the bushes are small. So the main crops are coming from the ground layers. But now the trees are growing up and there's less light in the ground layers, meaning that more of the crops will come from the trees. But I wanted to show you this space as an example of uh, how many different things actually are still possible to grow and harvest in, uh, in a space like this. So I'm standing, I'm standing here because these are the very last of the Carmasias and these are some of the first edible flowers in the food forest and I think they are amazingly beautiful so they flower all the way up and you can harvest them and put them in salad and next next day there are fresh flowers again. Carmasia, amazing flower and beautiful too and then you can also maybe see in the ground layers that this is a space where I have a lot of uh, my hostas so I can harvest those the, the fresh shoots and also in a moment we will have lots of fresh hosta flowers for the salad. Uh, always always the ever-present uh, stingy nettle that's uh, it shouldn't be here but of course it's always <laughs> intergrowing with all of these other plants but the hostas are here and actually I see also these amazing uh, leaves of uh, the longwort and I these are also edible but I I only eat a few leaves uh, in the very early spring and I do that because I value diversity also in my stomach but other than that I think they're too hairy so we don't really harvest them much but they're much loved by bees it is a crop it could be a crop if uh, a famine suddenly hit us. Um, and then you can also see I'm, uh, I'm right beside this Tilia cordata. It's, uh, oh, it's a Tilia cordata, it's a lime tree. And uh, the lime leaves are edible and the flowers are amazing for teas. But uh, I think right now they are super delicious and you can see some of the fresh at the, at the end of the branches, uh, the leaves are super fresh and soft and delicious. So these are valuable in the, uh, in the salad bowl. Um, this tree actually has been coppiced, uh, coppiced uh, and I will cut it back more because I want lots of small branches growing out so where I can reach. So it's easy for me to pick for the salad bowl. But that's another crop. Of course, it's a tree crop, but it's still growing in this uh, area. As you can see right here, there's a huge rhubarb. We've harvested lots from that. Uh, I've got in the freezer and we've been eating rhubarbs for a month or so now. And uh, now I'm just allowing it to flower and uh, do what it wants to do. Right beside that is uh, the sedum, uh, St. Hansuot. Uh, you can see it's one of my uh, largest patches of those. So uh, they are also a delicious and very early crop in the salad bowl. Um, what else do we have? Oh yes, yes. This is a favorite crop. Let me see. I will show you here. This is actually, and it's growing everywhere here. Uh, so this is a sorrel. Uh, it's, it's a French sorrel and I think it's super delicious. It's my favorite. Uh, very sort of succulent, delicious, lemony uh, leaves. And right now it's, uh, it's super prolific. It's one of the earliest things to, we can harvest. And right until maybe next month, maybe end of June, depending on how much water we get, how much rain we get, it's good. And then it, it goes uh, sad and then it actually grows back for a second round uh, in fall when the rain comes back. I think it's a delicious crop. Um, 
We also have lots of raspberries and they are growing wild. I need to reduce some of them, uh, but uh, in a month's time or so, we will have the first raspberries. Amazing. Um, apples right beside me. That's another delicious crop. Uh, these are red aromas. And um, what else do we have? Um, then the, uh, the ever-present uh, fennel, of course, is also there. It's an indispensable crop for us. Uh, every day I eat it just for fun uh, when I snack in the garden and always in the salad bowl. I love it. Um, as you can see, there's also here lots of cherries. Uh, in a moment we will have those if we get to them before the birds. And uh, what else do we have in the vicinity? Um, well, actually, in, in here under the apple tree uh, are three quite important crops for me in the food forest. So, as you can see, well, the ever-present fennel again, but lots and lots and lots of these lovely daylilies. And they don't mind the shade. They might not flower as much, but they actually don't mind the shade like this. And uh, then maybe <laughs> in the depths of all of this, uh, these are matagon lilies and they are also edible and super beautiful. So actually I've got quite a good uh, thing going here. And as you can see, they, they tolerate quite a lot of shade and they will still flower. And they are also really delicious flowers. And last but not least is this, uh, this is a Malva. Um, I don't remember which one, but it's a Melba anyway. And it's one of the, the crops we've been harvesting for quite a while now. And soon, as you can see, it will go into flower, but the leaves are still delicious in the salad bowl. So that too is also tolerating quite a lot of shade. Um, strawberries, woodland strawberries, maybe they're not so visible around here, but still we can find some. And um, I think, I think actually that's pretty, that's pretty good for a small space like this, including all the trees. And uh, there's a, well, there's a black currant also. We need the berries too. So black currants right over there and plums. And I mean, I can go on and on and on, but I think it's interesting to see that actually if you allow, if you work on allowing a bit of, uh, light into the ground layers you can actually continue harvesting a lot of crops from there and uh, and i should maybe also say that now the food forest is eight years old we started uh, eight years ago so uh, we are sort of in the middle of succession uh, and it's it'll be interesting to see what happens next and how things progress i will keep you posted thanks for watching see you later